let us venture to the north. Uh, let us talk about, uh, you know, them deciding on who is going to really be in charge here uh, between John and Sansa. And it ended up being John after all. That spells trouble for me. It does spell trouble, but let's pause for a moment okay. to say Lady Mormont. Oh, come like on. the true hero we deserve. <laughs> even even if it was causing trouble in, in the long run, I want Lady Mormont to give a speech for everything. I know. <laughs> want her to rally so, everyone. It's so funny because I, the, like me being total book nerd yeah. here, we got Frey Pies, which I, I yelled, holy effing S, like, <laughs> and everyone who we were, you guys were like, what? Oh, this thing is happening. Um, we got Wyman Manderley in yeah. this scene, and it's really funny because Wyman Manderley gives this incredible, incredible speech in the books, this whole North Remembers speech. It's so rousing, but it happens in completely different circumstances. He's yes. talking to Davos there at White Har Harbor, which is where the Manderleys live. Um, he didn't get to do that. I thought that she might get that speech mm -hmm. or something version of it still didn't really happen still an amazing speech that was a very long segue <laughs> it was a it was a great speech thank great, you for indulging it was me. a great moment <laughs> but yeah you have to wonder about john and sansa right before that they'd had a hey let's not lie to each other and be cool scene you know i had criticized a lot last week the fact that i didn't really buy into story-wise sansa keeping it a secret that she was had mm -hmm. summoned little finger in the knights of the veil and i didn't even feel very satisfied the way they dealt with it here because it was like oh sorry i didn't bring that up yeah don't do that cool but they didn't go into the like yeah why didn't you like you know there wasn't yeah. a lot of follow-up on that it was only used as a sort of symbol but it's obviously not done like yeah. these, these issues are not done based on that meaningful look the meaningful look and also the fact between that, sansa and Littlefinger, like little finger yeah. being just trouble for all that sansa says she'll never trust him she certainly does not yeah. want to be his bride she doesn't want to rule she might not want to rule westeros with him i don't know if she wants to rule westeros or not um yeah but for for all that she says that his words have a lot of value to her and him saying you are the ruler of the North. You know, you are the queen of Winterfell. It should not be John. It should not be a bastard. I think that's part of where that pointed look came from because everyone was quick to elect him. And I think in her head, she's like, uh uh, I am the rightful ruler here. And I think, I think there is going to be some discontent there. Obviously, very intentional that we as the viewer find out that he is not Ned Stark's son. He's actually the son of Ned's sister, Lyanna. Yeah. Uh, they still left a question mark about who his father is. I don't think it's that big of a question mm -hmm. mark. Uh, you can connect some dots. But yeah, I think I think there's like definitely going to be a power play there. And he even says, start like we shouldn't be fighting each other. I definitely think that's what's going to happen. Yeah. It, it, and, and then even in the after the episode stuff with Benioff and Weiss, they were all but saying that too is that yeah. like oh there's there's still going to be some trouble there uh and it's funny because on one hand it's it's so uh thrilling to see john and sansa working alongside each other but there's yeah. game of thrones and everything can't just be like great and everything working fine for yeah. these allies i mean so. benioff and weiss did a lot of heavy foreshadowing with that yeah. they even were like you know for as thrilling as this king of the north scene is yeah it really reminds you of when it happened with rob back in season two and look at how that turned out and you definitely instead of feeling that like thrill when it happened with Rob, there is that sense of dread when you see everyone chanting John's name. At least for me, I did feel like a chill go down my spine. I was like, this doesn't feel right. Well, I, I think it's a mixture because it's it's exciting and it's great as a, if you're a Jon Snow fan, again, to just see after all this time what he's had to sort of go through. I mean, there was that, you know, that scene where he talked about how like I ate at that table. Yeah. He was never even really allowed to be part. He was there, but he wasn't. Uh, fully part of it and so for him now to be declared as king is a great moment of triumph for this character certainly but not only is it game of thrones but yes uh what's happened before uh with the king of the north yeah uh and even before rob with with ned it's like okay there's there's some worry there. You know, this might not go great. Another worry with John, um, as cathartic as that scene where Davos finally confronted Melisandre yeah. about, about Shireen. And amazing, I jotted that down so we can yeah. talk about because we had not, we'd forgotten to mention Amazing, that. amazing acting from Liam yeah. Cunningham. Like, really emotional, really great stuff there. Uh, do you think it was a bad call? Do you think he needed Melisandre with him? Uh, I, this was a, actually a thing I will take issue with the writing of because I don't think, it was, it was way too convenient. It, it didn't sell to me that uh, given this reveal, oh my God, she did this horrible thing, she killed this girl, you could have the argument of, okay, we'll table that mm -hmm. because we do need her and she's obviously very powerful. When this is all done, we'll deal with it. Or the, nope, you did something horrible, you need to pay for your crimes, we're gonna try you, we'll execute you. Right. 
I did not buy what they did, which is the, you're banished. Like it right. just, it felt very convenient because they want to keep Melisandre on the show mm -hmm. and they want her to pop up at a cool time, you know? Right. And so I, that was actually, I had a real issue with the writing of that moment. I didn't believe it, that John would not make a decisive, it wouldn't make a big decision at that point, one way or the other. And it just felt like, oh, I'm going to send you off. And Davos will all say, yeah, you don't come back. I, and I, I feel like we should have understood think. a little bit more what he was thinking. Like, if yeah. it was, you brought me back, so I owe you your life. Right. Like, but say, he that. say that. Exactly. Yeah. And I almost feel like maybe she heads south and she meets up with uh, with Thoros and Mir and She's going to meet up. That's, 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 a, good, that's a good guess because she's going to meet up with someone, she's obviously. She's definitely going to yeah. meet up with him. Maybe she meets up with Jorah and they go right. off on big question mark storylines doing some things. Um, yeah, it, you know, I, I agree. I agree with you that it didn't quite land, but that being said, I mean, I just think, I think it is bad news. I, I am surprised they weren't just like, we need her, but it was a good point that she's just been wrong. Right. She's been wrong about so much, and I'm glad someone finally said that to her, and I wish they'd pushed that a little bit harder yeah. there, where they were like, we've been listening to you and and listening to what you had to say about the lord of light and you know even saying he's not done with me yet does that really have a lot of weight considering everything you've been wrong about and you were so wrong about stannis yeah yeah she should just keep doing the thing where she keeps like humble bragging but i brought Jon snow back to life <laughs> i thought when she was gonna when she said the thing about like oh you know i've been waiting for for death to find me for so long i was like all right take off the necklace take it off show everyone let's right. see let's see old melisandre again that's still our secret yeah <laughs> our secret but, but a lot we got a few of those this season and yeah. i like that yeah me too uh so let's know what you think in the comments about john uh and sansa and is this going to be like a major rift in the future you know is there going to be a full sansa will join little finger or not and what do you think about john letting melisandre go uh instead of sort of either deciding i need her or she has to pay for her crime did, did you buy that let's know in the comments